This is going to be a very interesting matchup. It is our feature bout, and we welcome you back to Worldwide Wrestling. The man you're about to see is the man who has had what many people would consider me being one, a spectacular year. Prince Iakea came out of nowhere to win the television championship earlier this year, and now uh, he'll go into a very difficult matchup as he will have to face the biggest of the NWO, Kevin Nash. You know, you talk about him having an interesting year and a good year. You know how many wrestlers pass through those ring ropes in a lifetime? You know how many people really ever have a title in gold? So a once in a lifetime, if he just kid had it once, a lot more than a lot of people had. Yeah, you're right, the percentages are very, very low. Right, he was just too stupid to keep it. You had to rip him, didn't you? Right then, you had to nail him. Sorry, I won't do that again. Here he comes. The big man. Seven feet tall, one of the most feared men in the world. Let's see who's with him. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, the whole crew's here. The whole wolf pack. Nash Hall and six are out. The Outsiders, WCW and, I guess, NWO Tag Team Champions. I don't know anymore. You know, I have been told that uh, they consider themselves the Wolf Pack, Hall, Nash, and Six, and that if need be, if Six has to step in and defend the tag team belts, if Hall cannot be there, if Nash cannot be there, then that's the way they want it. They make their own rules. And their, their governing body is Eric Bischoff and Hogan. They're laughing at IAK already, and uh, the Prince and his ring attire but you know as well as i do prince will stay pretty focused and this should be a good matchup maybe miffin is not when this match is over maybe he will be look how tall how big kevin nash is man. huge when we come back on worldwide wrestling our feature bout kevin nash against prince iakea it's nwo against wcw on worldwide this portion of WCW Worldwide Wrestling is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Be a part of the toughest, smartest army in the world. Be all you can be. Bell Sounds, we are back for the main event to feature battle worldwide. Oh, you're right. Look how much bigger Nash is. Oh, bigger than anyone. And in that ready with that, like a hook and ladder truck. Yes, he does, except, of course, the giant. And uh, I, I think the, the strategy for the Prince oh. is very simple. And I was getting ready to say the strategy is to stay out of the way of the big man, but uh, forget that. Too late. Hard to stay out of the way of him. He, he'll get you anywhere you are in that ring. Nash and Hall and Six, the wolf pack there. Big elbow, massive elbow. This, this, may, be a, this may be a complete whitewash, a complete runaway. A 66 to nothing thrashing. I think the Prince was just intimidated from the start. Would knowing he was going to get in there with the NWO. Knowing he was going to get in there with the bigger man in the NWO. Knowing he was going to have to play the man seven feet tall. Knowing his partner's outside the ring. His other partner's outside the other side of the ring. I mean, a young man like this, sure he's intimidated. Scared to death. And I, well, Iakea trying to get out of the way. What Iakea needs to do here now is to try to maybe regroup. Or quit. No, I don't think you'll do that. But where do you regroup? You can't go on the floor. Look who's on the floor. Then you quit. Tell the referee there'll be another day. I don't need to have that man, that big man there, hand me my head. You know, I wonder what they have in store for Roddy Piper. You know the things they've done to Piper, how many times they've tried to take Piper out. Well... But it's in a cage. They can't get in. Yeah, right. They'll think of something. How many times have we said, well, they can't do that, and they always do it. Big side suplex that time. And then this is something I don't want to miss. A lot of celebrating, no attempt to the pin here. The NWO having a great time at the expense of Prince Iakea. Scott Hall wants to take a swing at it. This is this, just bring him over here. Let me have a little. This is a horrible exhibition. A horrible display. Now look at this. Six goes up on the side there. Takes the referee over there. This poor idiot is helpless. Oh! Held down by Hall and Nash. The only thing between him and his Adam's apple. 
up on that rope with skin. Wow. Over 300 pounds and a lot of momentum and ahead of steam. People are chanting NWO. Yeah, they're jerks. Scoop up. Once again, oh. this time in the throat. Drop down from the heavens. Six cut the referee again. Wow. And look at this. As a result, Scott Hall. Snuck up. Cover one, two. It's over. Nope. Puts his foot on the ropes. You know, Brain, I'm beginning to think that you're right. Give up, right? Well, he's not going to win this one. If he, even if he was to pin Nash, the other two are going to come in and the three of them are going to do a number on it. It's a no-win situation. It's out of control here. And the referee, and come on, Piper, do something about it. Oh, Prince. Sending him in. He got a second win here, and here he goes. Getting some offense going. Well, for a few seconds. Now he's got the clothesline. That was good. Two drop kicks. You won't get him down. Well, he's going to go up top. He's going to go up top. He got him down. Got him down with a missile drop kick. Cover one, two. Yo! Did oh. you see the power of that man there? Yeah, I saw it. The referee felt it. Ayakea had some offense going there. Man's just too big, too much. Body. Look again, at that strength. Again, a kick out. He's up chopping, though. Oh. Huh. No, he just got one to the chopper. That's oh. what happened there. Holy moly. I mean, he caught him in the face with that one. What a big, arrogant, tough, tough man. Mean. Mean as the day is long. But he is, you said arrogant, but he can back it up, as we know. Yep. Oh, no, forget about that. Referee's not going to give the NWO sign. Kevin Nash. I think the Prince is going flying here. I think so. Dominated the uh, Release power bomb. Stay there, Prince. We don't have enough fight left to beat all three of them. Well, thank goodness this one's over. You have seen an awesome display by an awesome athlete and a group of men that has ruled our sport for over a year. And you've seen why, Brain, because they are multi-talented. Yes, sir, Mr. Shivani, they are the WCW, NWO, like it or not, tag team champions of the world. They're arrogant, they're cocky, they got it all together, they think. They got a lot of money behind them. Eric Bischoff, Hulk Hogan, their new addition, Kurt Hennig. Yep, they're a tough organization to beat. And I didn't think they'd get this powerful at the beginning. Did you really? No. There's the Wolf Pack, and they have the win on Worldwide Wrestling Brain. Here he goes in. Yeah, I never thought they'd become this powerful. But you know, they always work two against one, three against one. Big Nash drops all his weight, and I mean all his weight, on the back of the Prince. Kicks him right to the face. You see him bring the food up after he nails him with it. Big, big, big power bomb. Prince realizes there's no sense getting up. I'm just going to get knocked down. I don't have any more in me. My insides are aching. I don't have any breath. Your winner, Kevin Nash, NWO. All right, fans. Next week on Worldwide Wrestling, we will have the Steiner Brothers here with us in tag team action. So join us at that time. For the Brain Bobby Heenan, I'm Tony Schiavone. See you next week on Worldwide.